it is a rush to stomp them out before they evolve too far. UC San Diego Chief of Infectious Diseases Dr. Davey Smith says it's natural for viruses like COVID-19 to mutate. To try to figure out any way that they can to keep living within us and to spread amongst us. So the fact that new variants are popping up isn't necessarily surprising. San Diego County health officials have now found a case of the B1617 or the India variant suspected to be more contagious as a deadly wave of infections hits the Asian country. Now, is it more deadly? It could also be more deadly. Viruses don't, in general, want to kill their hosts. It will take time to figure out if it's in fact more deadly, as federal officials are investigating the new strain. We are collecting data right now in real time, and hopefully within the next several days to a week, we'll be able to make a determination as to what the effect of antibodies induced by our vaccines are against that particular variant. At least seven variants have been found in San Diego. Smith says until we reach herd immunity with vaccinations, which officials say is about 75% of the population, the virus will keep mutating. Every time that it is in somebody new, it adapts to its new home. And when it adapts to its new home, that means it's making these changes. And these are genetic changes because the virus is evolving to us. So if people are thinking they're healthy and don't need to be vaccinated, Smith says one reason to get the shot is to potentially stop an even deadlier, more contagious version of the virus from appearing. That virus in that young person then starts to evolve to that young person and then is going to spread to another person who might not be young and healthy. Smith says there is great news, though. The vaccine is still working for the for these variants. The UK variant has become the dominant coronavirus strain in the United States. Health officials say the one case of the Indian variant here is from a woman in her 20s who traveled to the country before being hospitalized here last month. Matt Hoffman, KPBS News.